this session I'm going to go over the option for inserting pictures in a document to enhance it. So in this case we have here the document and we want to enhance it further with pictures. Let's say it's a promotional document of sorts and we need to insert some kind of pictures related in this case to Office 365. So to insert the pictures, simply select the area where you want to insert it and then click on pictures and then go and locate wherever your pictures are. In this case, uh, I'm going to go under the temporary file here and I have downloaded the picture from before. So this is a picture that we have already in the computer. So click on insert and here is the picture that we chose to in insert. Now this picture, notice there are a couple of options. Of course, you can resize it. Notice there is also this option here, the layout options that shows up. You can click on it and uh, sh choose different options. I'll show you how to utilize this later as well. But for now, you can click on tight. And what that will do is that it will put the text tightly around the picture here. Notice once I select on the, uh, click on the picture, notice there's a new set of tools on the top the format picture tools and if I double click on it that opens up automatically. Now that I inserted the picture and by the way this option here for the layout options that is under the text wrapping here if you want to look in the menu and that was a tight option that I chose earlier. Now the picture that we inserted we could do a bunch of stuff with it. We can change here on the left hand side to change the background. We can remove the color and tinker with the color if you wanted to modify it some in one way or another. And you could do artistic effects if you needed to or in that case mess it up basically and you could change the picture and basically just go through all of these options that are available here. The other thing that you can do is you have all these pre-defined type of formats for this picture. So instead of you having to be a graphics designer and tinker with another application, you could customize it. Notice this looks a little nicer at the edging here. And basically you're customizing it to your liking by using these predefined styles. The styles here are very similar to the styles that we covered in text styles, like formatting text. So that, for example, might work better if we put this on the right hand side here. Now, once you have inserted the picture here, notice you have also uh, options to change the border for it, to change the picture effects, and this pretty, it gets to be quite a bit of fun, but save this for the last minute once you have finished all the other work with the document. And then you can, if you have multiple pictures, you can bring those pictures forward or send them backward and customize that further. You can also crop the picture if you needed to by clicking on crop here and let's say I want to make it just closer on each corner here and then uncheck it and now it has been cropped. Of course it messed it up a little bit but that's the nature of it at this point. Now you can also insert pictures from online and this is a new feature in Office 365 here. So you go here under pictures, online pictures, and then I can choose pictures either from office.com clip art or use pictures from Bing image search. Bing of course is a search engine from Microsoft. So basically this is like the clip art option that used to be in previous versions of Office. Now notice I can, this is searching Bing. Click on the picture that it found. 
and then resize it and manipulate it very similarly to what we did earlier. with the other picture it's in the wrong spot if you by the way if you want to remove to move it to a different area just simply drag it and then it should adjust the layout of the document there's also an option here it should be under position notice you can choose under position to put it on the top left top right it gives you like a pre layout or a live preview of the document how the document would look if you moved it in a specific spot so that's inserting pictures and inserting images from online